Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome to another top 10 AliExpress sale roundup video. You know the deal by now, I make three of these each year. One for the mid-year sale, one for the big 11-11 sale in November, and one for this sale in March, which is the anniversary sale. Happy 12th birthday, AliExpress. All new today, all new 10 watches that I haven't featured on the channel before. And I think a fair spread, there's a dress watch, there's a couple of cracking $99 dive watches fully featured, a ridiculous mega spec automatic GMT for 160, couple of chronographs and a few watches from the usual suspects that no top 10 list would be complete without. Now I will leave a link to each of these in the description of the video in the order that I show them. I am an AliExpress affiliate, what that means is if you click on one of these links and make a purchase they pay me a small commission, a small finder's fee, you don't pay any more for the product, just so we're clear, thank you very much. Now the sale starts on the 28th, but what Ali allows you to do is add these items to your cart, lock in the sale prices and come back and pay for them once the sale begins. I have done that with three of the watches on the list today. I've got three already in the house waiting for review, three in my cart and one strapped to the underside of a pigeon halfway over the coast of Indonesia at the moment. Enough waffle Jody, let's get on with today's top 10. All right, are you sitting down? I suggest you pull up a chair for this one if you aren't already seated. What if I told you you could get a fully spent, fully featured dive watch on AliExpress, Seiko, Sapphire and Ceramic with an original design for less than $100. It is actually possible. Enter the Guanchin GJ16199. Your target price for this one today, folks, is $96 and a few cents. Okay, when I say original, perhaps the case and bracelet are very much in the Rolex Submariner mold, but that dial, that handset, and that ceramic bezel insert are unique and very, very colorful. Some fantastic colors of this one. There's a green and white one, there's a red, white, and blue one. There's a PVD black one with gilt hands, which looks awesome. And there's a black and orange one, also I think very interesting, all the same price. 96 bucks during the sale. Now I bought one of these last year for 120 US dollars featuring a Miyota movement and no loom ceramic bezel insert. This is a new version 2 featuring a fully loom ceramic bezel insert. Seiko NH35, sapphire crystal with cyclops, stainless steel construction, solid links, solid end links, screw links, three micro adjusts in that Rolex style clasp, and it even has the easy link flip-flop system to give you a bit more comfort on a hot day. The loom is actually pretty good thanks to that new fully loom ceramic bezel insert, and the dial features a really interesting scored metallic texture which looks very dynamic under sunlight. Full review of this one coming up during the week. No loom on the second hand and the bracelet clasp isn't amazing if you want a couple of advanced moans and niggles. But like I said, I paid 120 last year for 95. This is a cracking way to start today's list. Okay, if you thought that Guan Chin offered heaps of value, you wait till you see this one. It's a Thorn GMT, automatic GMT for $159. And it's a big boy, full size 44 millimeter Marine Master 300 style case. Now these are available elsewhere for around $230. Here it is on WR Watches. Sale price $159 on AliExpress. And for that, you just get a ridiculous set of specifications. 44 millimeter full size watch with Jubilee bracelet and milled clasp, all in 316L stainless steel. Proper BGW9 loom on this bad boy with double domed sapphire crystal, a screw down crown, 200 meters of water resistance. Now it has a compass bezel, machining all looks really tip top on that for the cash they're asking. And it has an automatic GMT movement with date complication. The movement is a Hangzhou 6460. Zero. This is an ETA 2836-2 clone with a GMT module dropped on top of it and is featured in far, far more expensive watches, San Martins and Kronos, all between four and 500 US dollars. Now this is a homage. It is a Seiko Landmaster Prospect Series Spring Drive homage. Mind you, they cost about four grand and to be honest, I had never heard of the watch. There are a couple of slightly dubious elements to be honest. The font they've used for the brand name on the dial thorn could be a lot better and there's a slightly hokey rose on the case back thorns roses 
get it, but for $160, I'm buying this one regardless. It's in my cart, ready to go. Third watch on today's list is the cheapest watch on today's list, and one that I have actually featured on the channel before. It made it into my budget five-piece collection video that I made a couple of weeks ago. It's this one, it's the North Edge Mars, and it's yours for the princely sum of $18. If you just want to scratch that new watch itch during this sale period, this is the one to go for. Available in three different colours, black, red and yellow. I have a red one on the way, that's the watch that's strapped to a pigeon, I couldn't resist it at that price. And it's a good size, 45mm in diameter, which is exactly the same diameter dimension as the Casio GA2100 Cassie Oak. 50 meters of water resistance, which is fine, it has an alarm, dual time, even it has a pedometer and calorie counting capacity. It's a decent EL backlight, shock resistance, full auto calendar, various timers and stopwatches, and best of all, it can be used for skateboarding underwater. Chinese marketing at its finest right there. I bought a couple of North Edge watches in the past and found them to be remarkably good quality for the price they're asking. This one, a no-brainer for $18. Number four is also in my cart for personal purchase today. I see a lot of AliExpress watches now for $200 to $300 and I find them a bit meh. That's not why I got into this China Direct stuff in the first place. I got into it for the ridiculous bargains and I reckon this Steel Dive Tuna Homage is a ridiculous bargain. These are available in a range of colours, they all look great and they're fabulously well spent. Your target price, once you add a couple of vouchers, is $95. Now the Steel Dive 1970 is probably the best way to spend 100 bucks on AliExpress. I have recommended this one to you on more than one occasion and I'll leave an additional link in the description of the video. I see no reason therefore why this tuna shouldn't be just as fantastic. There are a range of cracking colours, I've gone for a red one, available in a couple of different bracelets or a rubber strap, all the same price, all under 100 bucks. The finishing on that shroud looks great. Again, it's Seiko powered, ceramic bezel, sapphire crystal, screw down crown, 300 meters of water resistance with this one, which is the most on today's list. And don't be put off by the shape of these ones. They look like hockey pucks, but they certainly don't wear like hockey pucks. Super compact lug to lug means they fit well on small wrists and also big wrists. Now the Steel Dive 1970 won its episode of Loom Wars, cheapest watch ever to do so. I'm expecting big things from the Loom therefore, from this tuna homage. I'm expecting big things generally for 100 bucks. Again, you can expect to see a review of this one soon. At number five, it's a Seagull. Now I like Seagull as a brand and not just the 1963, and I like this model. I'm referring to it as the Buy Disc, and your target price on this one is $160. Now that is actually one of the biggest savings on today's list, 30%. The regular price on these is 220, so 160 is definitely a bit of a bargain. Now I like Seagull because they're a Chinese brand that is proud to be a Chinese brand. The words China made sit either side of the index at six, where one would normally find the words Swiss made. This one is 39 millimeters, has sapphire crystal. It actually has a curved dial with patterning like a Neolithic Chinese jade by disc. These discs were added to the coffins of wealthy Chinese as they were thought to represent heaven. And you can see this circular pattern with recesses replicated on the dial of this watch. This one features a Seagull in-house automatic ST17 movement with a reasonable degree of decoration and a see-through case back. The leather strap looks good as well, wearable straight out of the box, which always helps. This one is available in three different colours, either with blue accents, green accents or grey accents. It's an original, attractive and well-priced watch at a great discount. The sixth watch on the list today is not quite so original. It's a Pagani Masters of the Colour Photocopier. What top 10 list would be complete without a Pagani? And today I've chosen this one. This is their brand new Tudor BB Chronograph Homage. Normally over $100, sale price, that's your target today, $75. I'll leave a link and a voucher in the description of the video for this one, getting that price down to 75 bucks. These Seiko powered chronographs make a very sensible addition to any budget collection and Pagani do Daytona lookalikes, the excellent Paul Newman, which is a real retro looker, and now this Tudor alike with snowflake hands. As usual, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel insert, solid link, solid end link, screw link clasp. This one uses a VK64 Seiko movement, so no ticking second hand and no date. That means it has a really nice clean dual register layout. It may be quartz, but you never know it's quartz because because they've deleted the second hand, $75 for this is a great price. All right, at number seven, it's a ladies watch, or at least this one is marketed as a ladies watch, but I can see certain colors 
on the wrist of gentlemen, no problems at all, because it's a sharp looking piece. It's the new 35mm model from Escapement Time, and your target price for this is $100. Sadly, Escapement Time sells so well, they don't tend to do big discounts during sales period, but like I say, there's always a voucher. You should be able to nibble a few bucks off this one, get it under a ton. It is basically a smaller version of their popular King Seiko look-alike, powered by the excellent Seiko VH31. Now, this is a quartz that ticks four times per second, so it looks like an auto. Super sharp handset on this one, lovely case finishing as well. It certainly doesn't look like a $100 watch when you see it up close. The strap on this also looks very nice and it is colour matched to the dial. Talking of colour, these are available in a variety of different colours, including pink and so hot right now, Tiffany blue. Buy one for yourself or buy one for your missus to offset some of the 23 watches you've already bought for yourself so far this year and it's only March. Or am I projecting? Number eight today is yet more Tiffany blue, but it is also available in other colors. It's the San Martin Explore Climbing Series 36 millimeters, and your target price for this one with the PT5000 is $300, making it the most expensive watch on today's list. But I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I think San Martin makes some of the best watches you can buy on AliExpress, some of the best watches you can buy for their dollar value. These are available in a bunch of different colors, all for the same price. They're powered by the PT5000 High B Automatic as mentioned, or for about $120 more, so just over $400, you can get them with a Swiss made Salita SW200-1. Fantastic case finishing on these, great loom, lovely bracelets, really very solid little watches, well worth the money being asked if you see value in San Martin as a brand that is. The same case bracelet, etc, etc, is also available in the same range of colors, but with batons rather than Arabics. I reckon this yellow one with batons could make a fantastic knockabout summer watch if you like this smaller 36mm size. Now we're getting to the end of today's list, but I've still got room for a couple of nuggets, including this one that I have been eyeing up literally for years. It's the Cadison C8113, and the price on these during the sale is $60. I remember seeing this one on Gearbest.com back in the day in 2017, and they were well over 90 bucks. And they really offer something different on this list, something different from AliExpress generally. It's a unique look, very dressy, almost pocket watch in style, with those big applied Romans at the points of the compass, and the crescent second hand. There's also a star pattern on the hour hand, as you can see perhaps from some of the images, and quite an intricate detail around the pinion. It's a good size at 40 mil in diameter, features sapphire crystal, and a Seiko NH35 movement, but the date window is at six o'clock, little porthole there. Such details are rarely seen on AliExpress and certainly not for 60 bucks. A touch of loom, 50 meters of water resistance, and a half decent looking leather strap with butterfly clasp round out this package. They're available with a cream dial and gold case, black dial and gold case, but I've got the black dial and silver one in my cart ready to go. And finally, at number 10, it is the watch on my wrist today. It is the Mercure Big Eye Chronograph. Your target Target price for this one, once you add a couple of discount vouchers, is 215 US dollars. Think of this one as a Seagull 1963 in a very fetching vintage party dress, and you get the idea. Now this is a homage, it's a homage to a Breguet Type 20 Big Eye from the 1950s. These Breguets were supplied to the French Navy Air Division in the 50s, so the look has some genuine provenance and heaps of history behind it. A good example of the Breguet these days can cost upwards of 50 grand, so this Mercure doesn't look too bad in the value stakes by comparison. And it is quite the looker. I am a total sucker for this Fotina on black look, and the Mercure does it very, very well indeed. Big eye, of course, because the chrono timer at the three o'clock is much larger than the tick and second hand at the nine o'clock. You wouldn't necessarily think that asymmetric sub registers would work, but it just does. Because it's a Seagull 1963 in a party frock, it features vintage style acrylic crystal and a Seagull ST1901 mechanical chronograph movement underneath that case back. Now at $215, even with those discount vouchers, it is still 50% more expensive than a Seagull 1963. I'll leave a link to that one in the description as well. But I think those vintage movie star looks more than make up for the price difference. So there you have it. What did you think of that selection then? What did you think of my choice? 
choices. A couple of fully featured $99 dive watches in the form of the Guan Chin and the Steel Dive. That Thorn GMT looks outrageous for 160 bucks. I can't wait to pull the trigger on that one on the 28th. There'll be full reviews of the Mercure and the Guan Chin coming up on the channel over the next few days. So if you are keen on one of those, you'll be even more informed when the sale starts. If there was nothing here that caught your fancy, why not check out a couple of previous AliExpress sale roundup videos for inspiration. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.